Aloha Aina. Um, today I'm going to be talking about making calcium phosphate and um, calcium phosphate is really important for our soils out here especially in Hamakua and the Big Island in general where uh, it just it rains a lot and uh, so calcium phosphate can increase our fruits and especially help them in the transition zone going from growing all year to then starting to fruit and getting up high. So to make calcium phosphate water soluble, we take vinegar. Here I have brown rice vinegar. You have a vessel. Right here I have a mason jar and add vinegar into your jar. As you do that, you want to add bones that you've previously charred. Um, you see here, this bone is uh, is very black. There's no gray. There's no brown. I've completely charred it black. And this is ideal. These types of bones, um, they'll be very light, and uh, and that's okay. Uh, that happens when you char it really well. You see this bone here, very black. If I break it open, see, still very black on the inside. Um, so this is a well charred bone. Now essentially what you want to do is get, um, weigh your vinegar, find out how much it weighs, and then add bones to it so that for every one part of weight of bones, you have 10 parts of vinegar. So 10 to 1. And that's what we're going to do here. So I probably should have teared the scale before I started. But I'll just factor in the jar's weight here a little bit. Set it down, tear it out. And I have... Fifty-five grams of bones, and so that would mean I would want. Well, here you know what I can do this precisely right. And pour that into here. Almost ever so perfectly. up a little bit more. Gotcha! Okay. So, the bubbles, the bubbles are starting to float up. Um, Bubbles are forming, bubbles are floating. This is exactly what's supposed to happen on good roasted bones that are completely charred. If they're not charred all the way, they won't bubble as well. If 
they're too overburned and gray, they also won't bubble as well. This one here looks like it's bubbling quite well. The eggs will be more dramatic than the bones. This is calcium phosphate for bones, dried bones, good for soils out here. So, altogether 608, which seems about right. Gee, high five. Okay, aloha. Enjoy this recipe. Oh, uh, dilutions out here, uh, 1 to 800, or 1 to 500, or one to, between 1 to 500 and 1 to 1,000. So that's basically 4 to 8 milliliters per gallon. Um, so you can measure that out when you dilute it. 4 to 8 milliliters per gallon of water-soluble calcium phosphate, which is WCP in the Korean natural farming lingo. And uh, so this this will be ready in a couple days, and when it's ready, it'll look like this. Okay. So you see the color change dramatically from this light color to this dark color. And then what you do is you take the bones out, and then you store it, and uh, kind of taste. Fossy. You learn what it, what calcium phosphate tastes like. It's kind of a bitter, flat taste across your tongue, um, like sour. You know, like, like in the sweet and sour. You know, like sweet sour chicken. It's kind of that sour tang, and that's that that tang. That's that sourness that you, that Master Cho talks about when you're from the pregnancy, when you're going through that stage that you desire that sour food. Um, and that sour food, this this calfos here is, is definitely sour. Um, so the sourness that comes in, and uh, so essentially this helps in the reproductive period. So when you see your plant and it's and it looks like it's about to flower, you you start adding calfos to it, which uh, which is this solution here diluted about 800 to 1, 1,000 to 1, somewhere in that range. Uh, so that's four milliliters per gallon and uh, spray it on and it'll help that uh, transition clearly go through that stage and uh, also just in general in Hawaii after a heavy rain yeah, if you have bug infestations this is a great preventative nutrient to apply um, instead of uh, you know uh, trying to kill the bugs to strengthen your plants and this this is like think of the strength of the bones bones strong I think of also bones are sponges they, they absorb toxins and things so also drinking this will act as a, um, a detox to you because all this bone charcoal and cal calcium phosphate will suck the toxins out of your bones and and help to transform your um, your yeah, I mean, uh, Ju Young was talking about this is something she uses daily as a drink to uh, keep herself strong. It, it pulls toxins out, it um, helps with re regrow teeth, regrow bones, um, because it comes from bones. So think of that strength entering you. And, and uh, you know, if you, uh, if you over drink it, you'll become too hard and too rigid, too calcified. If you under drink it, you'll, you know, you. Um, you become too fat. <laughs> uh, this so this puts bones. You know, if you're too, uh, help you clean out, detoxify. Um, lots of toxins are held in fat, but this can pull out the toxins. And your um, your blood comes from your bones, so it can help to rejuvenate your whole life via bone health. Um, yeah, water soluble calcium phosphate. If I was to drink it for myself. I just took a few raw sips here, um, but I would dilute basically uh, uh, one glass of water. Um, I'm going to pour in about yay much just to color it. And then, uh, I also have a plant juice in it too, but no, 
it's made from alcohol. It's not what I wanted. Um, well, I'd usually include a plant juice in here too. Um, but, <laughs> cheers. Natural farming, all edible. Aloha.